Listening Test In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're leaving the room. B. They're turning on the machine. C. They're standing near the table. D. They're reading the newspaper. Statement C. They're standing near the table. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. She's cooking a meal. B. She's walking around a farm. C. She's shopping for food. D. She's eating a salad. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. They're talking on the phone. B. They're moving some furniture. C. They're reading some books. D. They're standing by a table. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. He's climbing into a truck. B. He's entering a store. C. He's getting on a train. D. He's locking up a drawer. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. She's opening a box. B. She's putting on boots. C. She's folding some paper. D. She's holding a book. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. They're meeting in a restaurant. B. They're looking at the computer. C. They're examining a document. D. They're filing some forms. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. The man is pushing a cart. B. The man is taking a break. C. The man is leaving the store. D. The man is closing the door. Go on to the next page. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. Some people are sitting outside. B. Some people are watching a movie. C. Some people are cutting the grass. D. Some people are planting trees. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. A. The men are adjusting microphones. B. The men are playing music together. C. 
The men are listening to a lecture. D. The men are working in the garden. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. There are pictures on the wall. B. The tables are covered with tablecloths. C. The chairs are being put away. D. The piano is being played. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The baskets are empty. B. There are baked goods on shelves. C. The cabinets are being repaired. D. They're buying some bread. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear Where is the meeting room? You will also hear A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at two o'clock. The best response to the question, Where is the meeting room? is choice B. It's the first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. What did you think of the office party? A. In the park. B. I really enjoyed it. C. Next Thursday. Number 12. How do you usually go to the shopping mall? A. By bus. B. Not often. C. On Saturday. Number 13. Where can I buy a cup of coffee? A. No thanks, I'll have a cup of tea. B. I didn't go anywhere. C. There's a cafe downstairs. Number 14. Who's in charge of ordering office supplies? A. With a credit card. B. Staples and paper clips. C. Ms. Johnson is. Number 15. When did you start working at the embassy? A. Almost two years ago. B. Near City Hall. C. Do you have any extra? Number 16. What can I do to help? A. Yes, you can. B. Could you set the table? C. I do too. Number 17. Has the new shipment arrived? A. No problem, I'll do it. B. He took five new ones. C. Yes, it came this morning. Number 18. Why aren't you working on the report? A. Sure, I'd like that. B. It's finished. C. In my office. Number 19. Are you ready to order or do you need more time? A. Just a few more minutes, please. B. No, I never read it. C. They're usually on time. Number 20. 
Number 20. You want to speak first, don't you? A. A little faster. B. No, I'd rather wait until the end. C. Yes, it was an excellent speech. Number 21. Can I get you anything from the store? A. It's on Main Street. B. Actually, I need some onions. C. We store them over here. Number 22. When's your next appointment? A. Not until next month. B. Ms. Jacobs will be promoted. C. Because I'm still not feeling well. Number 23. Where will the conference be held next year? A. In July, I believe. B. Possibly in France. C. Usually on Tuesdays. Number 24. Is Ms. Romano coming to the reception tonight? A. I'm not sure. B. I was free yesterday. C. It's near the bank. Number 25. Don't you have to catch a train soon? A. I cancelled my trip. B. Sorry, I don't have any. C. In the training workshop. Number 26. Ms. Anderson will be in today, won't she? A. No, they couldn't. B. Yes, we're expecting her. C. You're welcome. Number 27. We need three new people. A. No, the old one was better. B. Yes, we're really short staffed. C. It wasn't free. Number 28. Would you prefer to take a short lunch or stay past five tonight? A. 12 o'clock. B. No, he's very tall. C. I'd rather leave early. Number 29. Why are we moving to a new building? A. Yes, the billing department. B. The company's expanding. C. It's a good movie. Number 30. Who will be the lead engineer for the project? A. The engine needs repairs. B. I believe it's Angela. C. The overhead projector. Number 31. Can we make hotel reservations a week in advance? A. No, it's for beginners. B. Yes, of course. C. It's strong enough. Number 32. How often does the general manager visit the branch offices? A. Two or three times a month. B. About 15 kilometers from here. C. Mostly to check on their progress. Number 33. Do you know your party's telephone extension? A. No, his birthday is next month. B. We have another week. C. Yes, it's 518. Number 34. I think we should hire Mr. Sato. A. Is this high enough? B. Maybe it is. C. He is very qualified.
Number 35. Did the client approve the project plans or did you have to revise them? A. They were approved. B. It's on the roof. C. That's not surprising. Number 36. I'd like to reschedule the flight I missed to Mumbai. A. There's one departing at 10. B. Would you like cream or sugar? C. Yes, I miss him too. Number 37. Why did you sell your laptop computer? A. Only $400 at the computer store. B. I didn't need it anymore. C. I put an advertisement in the paper. Number 38. Didn't Wen leave instructions for how to use the fax machine? A. He used to teach mathematics. B. Yes, they're on his desk. C. I am, in fact. Number 39. Thank you for coming all this way to see us, Ms. Perez. A. It's over that way. B. It was no trouble at all. C. I'll hold it steady. Number 40. There's going to be a new employee orientation next week, isn't there? A. She's the head of the business department. B. I've been working here for five years. C. I haven't heard anything about it. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Matthew Burns. Could I speak to Yumiko Nelson, please? I'm sorry. I'm afraid she's out on holiday today. This is Jeannie Roberts, her assistant. May I take a message? Yes, I'd appreciate that. I'm applying for the restaurant manager position, and I wanted to make sure she received the resume I sent a week ago. I see. Well, I'll be sure to let her know. She'll be back at the restaurant tomorrow. Number 41. Where does the woman most likely work? Number 42. What did the man do last week? Number 43. When will Yumiko Nelson return to work? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I saw an advertisement in the newspaper for this coffee maker. Where can I find it? I'm sorry, sir. That particular coffee maker is currently sold out. Would you be interested in a different model? No, that's the one I really want. Do you know if any of your other stores have it in stock? There's another branch of Carter Appliances about 20 minutes from here, and our computer says that store has them in stock. Why don't you check there? Number 44. What product is the man looking for? Number 45. What is the problem? Number 46. What does the woman suggest the man do?
Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Tim, could you please help me? I can't get this new computer software to work. I'm sorry, but I haven't tried using it yet. A lot of people in my department said it's rather confusing. I don't know what to do. I'm supposed to make a chart using this software. Well, tomorrow morning Dan Myers is giving a workshop to explain how to use the software. He said he'll demonstrate everything we need to know. Number 47. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 48. What is the woman's problem? Number 49. What will take place tomorrow? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Have you been to the art museum recently? There's a special photography exhibit of famous bridges showing there through the end of August. I saw it in July and really enjoyed it. I saw it too. Each photograph was so fascinating. I agree. The exhibit really made me think more about photography. I've decided to learn about cameras and techniques for developing pictures. I even ordered a few books about photography. That's a good idea. Could I borrow the books after you finish with them? Number 50. When will the exhibit end? Number 51. What does the woman want to learn more about? Number 52. What does the man ask to borrow? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Alex, I can't attend the meeting with our purchasing department this afternoon because I'll be visiting a client. Could you go instead? Sorry, but I have to finish editing the catalogue by tomorrow morning and those purchasing meetings usually last all afternoon. OK. Well, maybe I can go see the client this morning and then be back here in time for this afternoon's meeting. Number 53. Why is the woman unable to attend the meeting? Number 54. What does the man tell the woman? Number 55. What does the woman decide to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Did you get the email that the company is going to start paying the tuition costs if we want to take night classes at City University? We can sign up for any class after April 10th. That's a really nice benefit. I'm seriously considering registering for some marketing classes, but how do we sign up? Just call the accounting office. They'll send you the forms to fill out, but they have to be completed by March 25th. That's not a problem. I'll call accounting first thing tomorrow. Number 56. What are the speakers discussing? Number 57. How does the man suggest contacting the accounting office? Number 58. When should the forms be completed?
Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. I think we should have the promotional material for the hotel updated before the start of the tourist season. The current materials don't list our new prices. I agree. And, you know, the brochure needs to be redone as well. It really should include new photos of the renovated rooms. But do you think our budget can cover the additional expense? Printing a new brochure will be expensive. Yes, but it'll help with our advertising. And that should get us more bookings. Number 59. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 60. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 61. What is the man concerned about? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for shopping with us today at Marco's Shoes. Your total comes to 322 pesos. Do you know if I could get reimbursed for the taxes? I'm from another country. You can apply to the government to get the taxes back. Ask the customs officer for the paperwork at the border when you leave the country. Number 62. Where does this conversation most likely take place? Number 63. What does the man ask about? Number 64. What does the woman recommend that the man do? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. I need to see if Frank Griffin has finished reviewing our proposed budget. Have you heard from him today? No, I haven't. Would you like me to call him? That would be great. Could you please ask him if he sees any problems that we'll need to address right away? The final version of that proposal is due at the end of the week. Yes, I'll let you know what I find out. I'll email you as soon as I get off the phone with him. Number 65. Why do the speakers want to talk to Mr. Griffin? Number 66. What is the man concerned about? Number 67. How will the woman contact Mr. Griffin? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Do you think the dry weather we've been having will affect the price of your tomato crop this year? We should be all right. We've been able to keep the soil irrigated so far, and we are expecting rain in the next week or so. So will you be able to give me a price on the next harvest, then? I don't really feel comfortable agreeing on a price now. Why don't you give me a call in two weeks? I should have a better idea how much to charge for the crop then. Number 68. What does the woman want to know? Number 69. Who most likely is the man? Number 70. According to the man, what should the woman do? Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. 
you will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Welcome to the Friday Employee Fitness Program. I'm very excited to be the first instructor offering an exercise class here in the newly renovated fitness centre. And it's great to be located in the same building as the company cafeteria, since we meet right before the lunch hour. As you probably know, we'll be meeting every Friday for the next three months. By the end of that time, I hope you'll all be feeling stronger and healthier. This class is designed for all levels, so don't worry if you're a little out of shape right now. I'll demonstrate the exercises and show you ways to modify them so everyone can get a good workout without overdoing it. Number 71. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 72. When does the talk take place? Number 73. What does the speaker say he will do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Shin. This is Sunny. I'm calling because I've caught a cold and won't be in today. Would you mind doing a few things for me? First, can you tell Alice I'm out today? For some reason, I can't find her telephone number. Second, could you look on the left side of my desk for a brown package? This needs to be sent over to the marketing department. They're expecting it from me this morning, so you don't even have to write them a note. Finally, can you please check my computer for me? I left late last night, and I think I forgot to turn it off. Thanks for your help. I'll call you later when I'm feeling better. Number 74. Why is Sonny not at work today? Number 75. What does Sonny ask Shin to do? Number 76. According to the message, what will Sonny do later? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon, shoppers, and welcome to Mercer's. We offer one-stop shopping for all your food needs. Be sure to stop by our produce section for the freshest fruits and vegetables and our dairy section for our large selection of cheeses. You'll find today's Super Saver special in our bakery department. We're offering special occasion cakes at half off today. And we will even decorate your cake for free. Remember, we're open every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for shopping at Mercer's. Number 77. Where does the talk probably take place? Number 78. What does the speaker mention about Mercer's? Number 79. What time does Mercer's close? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following recorded message. Thank you for calling the CTA hotline, your automated guide to bus information. Please note that on October 20th, we will be operating on a special schedule with limited service due to a national holiday. Please listen to the following options for receiving automated schedule information. For our weekday schedule, please press 1. For our weekend schedule, please press 2. 
For our holiday schedule, please press 3. For all other inquiries, please call 555-1000 to speak to a customer service representative. Thank you very much for calling CTA, your regional bus service. Number 80. What information can a caller receive from the automated system? Number 81. What will take place on October 20th? Number 82. According to the recording, how can a customer service agent be contacted? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Good afternoon, Dr. Perez. This is Jun Lee from Pro Property Management. I've found a location for your new medical office that I think meets all of your requirements. It's on River Road, directly across from Eastside Hospital. It's accessible by public transportation, and there's lots of parking in the area. I think you should come see this as soon as possible because I'm sure it won't be available for long. Please call me as soon as you get this message so we can arrange a time for you to look at the office space. Okay, looking forward to talking to you soon. Bye. Number 83. What is the purpose of the message? Number 84. According to the message, what is good about the place? Number 85. What does the speaker recommend that Dr. Perez do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following radio broadcast. Hello, this is Satomi Endo with this morning's news. There was a heavy rainstorm last night that damaged some electrical lines in the Park Street area. Northern Electric Company announced that workers have been busy all night repairing the storm damage. They say the work is nearly complete and power will be restored this morning to residents and businesses in the affected area. To report problems with electric service outside the Park Street area, or for further information, you should contact Northern Electric Company at 555-4242. Customer service agents are available to take your call 24 hours a day. Number 86. What is the news report about? Number 87. According to the speaker, what will happen this morning? Number 88. How are listeners told to get more information? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. I've called this meeting to announce that we've selected an executive director to oversee our new laboratory in Geneva. As you know, we were looking for a person who could manage the daily operations of the lab as well as supervise the 15 scientists who work there. We also needed a person who could propose new programs and recommend changes. That is why we've chosen Marie Windsor. Dr Windsor studied in Paris and Montreal and has been the principal scientist at Griffin Labs in London, where she has been in charge of a staff of 25. She's published 35 articles in major journals, and we think she'll be perfect for this position. Number 89. What is the purpose of the meeting? Number 90. What is a stated requirement of the laboratory director?
Number 91. According to the talk, what has Dr. Windsor done? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Takahashi. This is Satoko Nobu from Nobu Pharmacy. Now that the weather has turned colder, we've had a lot of people coming in for cold and cough medication. We're running low on many of your pharmaceutical products, so I'd like to place an order with you. I want to order 20 boxes of cold tablets, 20 boxes of sinus tablets, and 10 bottles of children's cough syrup. And we need everything as soon as possible, so I'd like you to send it by express delivery. As usual, please charge the total amount to the pharmacy's account. Thank you. Number 92. Where is the speaker most likely calling from? Number 93. What is the speaker ordering? Number 94. What does the speaker request? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk. Welcome to the 10th Annual Conference of the International Association of Civil Engineers. Before we hear our opening address, I want to mention some changes that have been made to today's schedule. Many of you have signed up for the 11 o'clock session on innovative structural materials in civil engineering. The session is so full that it had to be moved from the Magnolia Lounge to Ballroom A. Also, there has been a time change for the luncheon for the association's outgoing president, James Dixon. It will be held at 1 o'clock instead of 12 o'clock. Any additional changes to the conference program will be posted on the board near the registration desk in the hotel lobby, so please check there from time to time. Number 95. Who is the speaker most likely talking to? Number 96. What is the reason for the announcement? Number 97. What are listeners asked to do in the lobby? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk. Welcome to Morris Glass Factory. I'm Tina Hoffman, Head of Publicity and Tours for the company, and I'll be your guide for today. We'll start by going straight to the factory's production area. Where you'll see our craftspeople creating beautiful glass objects. Everything here is made by hand, and people spend years perfecting their craft. In the production area, one of our master craftspeople will tell you about the history of glass making and demonstrate some techniques used to produce the beautiful vases, plates, glasses, and other articles we make here. At the end of the tour, we'll stop in our showroom. If you wish to make a purchase before you leave, remember we offer a 10% discount on items you buy here at the factory gift shop. Number 98. Who is probably speaking? Number 99. Where will the listeners probably go next? Number 100. According to the speaker, what can the listeners do before they leave? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. End of recording.